everyone, welcome to Times XP. I'm Purnima Pandey back with another interesting health video for you. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between wheat flour and maida. So the difference between maida and wheat flour is that maida basically is made up of endosperm of the wheat grain, whereas the wheat flour uh, actually includes the husk, bran, germ, apart from the endosperm of the wheat. When it comes to culinary uses, wheat flour is usually used to make rotis, while maida is frequently used to make paratha and naan. When considering their health benefits, wheat flour is considered better for our health than maida. Maida is another name for all-purpose flour, and maida also being made up of the endosperm, which is the core of the wheat grain, mainly includes carbohydrates. So, however, wheat flour also contains proteins, vitamins, minerals, and also fiber. Maida is another name for all-purpose flour like we told you and in general, uh, it is, in order to obtain maida, manufacturers further refine the whole wheat grain and remove the skin and the husk after sieving it several times. In comparison to wheat flour, maida is full of calories. Further, manufacturers bleach maida using chemicals to make it super white in colour and extra smooth in texture. Maida therefore is not the best and the healthiest option when it comes to nutritional content. Furthermore, the refining process of maida flour destroys the wheat grain's vitamin content also. So it perhaps needs to be considered before eating. In addition to that, maida has a higher glycemic index than wheat flour, which can also cause a rise up in blood sugar levels, leading to an imbalance of insulin and sugar levels too. Therefore, maida can be dangerous for diabetic patients and maida is used to prepare a lot of uh, variety of cookies, muffins, noodles, pasta, naans, etc. in every corner of the world. So you must be very mindful of what you're eating uh, and what it is made up of. Moving on to what wheat flour is and how it is made. Wheat flour is basically obtained by grinding wheat grains along with husk and the skin. So as compared to maida, wheat flour is definitely a better and a healthier option as a rich source of vitamin, minerals and fibre too. Unlike maida, wheat flour does not undergo chemically bleaching and therefore it is a very safe option in order if to add to your diet. In addition to that, wheat flour also contains a huge amount of amino acids and antioxidants and they help the human body to relax naturally and it also works as a natural treatment for common issues such as insomnia, headache, anxiety, depression, etc. When it comes to food and cuisine, we also use wheat flour to prepare lots of Indian food items such as rotis, puris and also deserts all around the world. So, talking about some similarities between maida and wheat flour, Maida and wheat flour are basically obtained from wheat grain and they are two different varieties of flour. We use maida and wheat flour to prepare a variety of sweet dishes and savoury items. Both of them contain different nutrient components and uh, they are both perhaps uh, uh, have a specific use of their own. So it wouldn't be uh, wrong to say that of course wheat flour is healthier but yeah. Maida is also something that is required for a lot of confectionery items or bakery items. So yeah, that is also important. Well, moving on to the differences between maida and flour. The definition is basically, uh, you know, maida is made with endosperm of the wheat, whereas the uh, wheat flour includes husk, bran, germ, like we already told you, from the endosperm of the wheat. Talking about the colour and texture, maida being chemically bleached, it has a pure white colour and relatively smoother texture compared to wheat flour. Nutrient content, while maida is full of calories, wheat flour is rich in fibres, minerals and vitamins. Culinary uses, we also, you know, actually make uh, a lot of uses of maida in a variety of food items such as muffins, cakes, noodles, cookies, etc. Pasta along with naans also use maida. And talking about wheat flour, wheat flour also makes a lot of Indian items such as rotis, puris, deserts, etc. Talking about the conclusion, in brief, the main difference between maida and wheat flour is that in order to obtain maida, the manufacturers further refine the whole wheat grain and remove the skin and husk, whereas manufacturers grind the wheat grain along with the skin and the husk in order to obtain wheat flour. This leads to an end of the product of wheat flour possessing a relatively higher nutritional value as compared to maida, a product rich in calories. So in case you were confused about what flour to actually use in your diet, then we would suggest you to definitely go ahead and have wheat flour because already we know that it is nutritionally healthy for us 
and we need to have it in order to stay healthy and that is exactly the reason why since wheat flour is filled with uh, a lot of nutritional value it can actually give you that you know one bite of roti can actually give you that kind of relief when you eat it so yeah this was all about wheat flour and maida if you like watching our video go hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos like these this is me purnima pandey signing out